Do you really think that Lazily Made trailer was a real trailer? Of course not! We gotta hype it up by making an animated trailer for it. Because we will only put the highest efforts for our beloved Yuto Ichika. For those of you new to the Lame Dimension franchise, you might be asking, who is Yuto Ichika? Don't worry guys, I'll give you a quick overview on who the heck this whore is. But before that, gotta talk about our sponsors. Smasher Soap! Oh, I, I mean, there, Smasher Soap! Smasher Soap is a brand new soap that came out just this month. And it's made for Smash players, just like you! Experience the odor blocking powers of Just a Tip, Monkey Dawn, Puff Has Had Enough, and Down Air Daddy, as you win not only the tournament, but the respect of all the players. And if someone else is thinking up the place, Smasher Soap has got you covered with a free Nose Parry Adapter. Keep on the lookout for more new flavors that come out every month, only here at SmasherSoap.com. All you gotta do is you wash, then you win. To some people, Yuto debuted in our Steam game Super Ledge Hop Double Laser. But to those who dug deeper beyond Steam, she debuted in a game for Toho Game Jam called Yuto Ichika's One Time Wonder. However, for us, her first game appearance is for one of our college classes where we kind of had to make a game engine out of a graphics engine, but we never really put a download link for that, so we don't really count it because it really sucks, to be honest. Yeah, the game sucks. <laughs> to the common public, though, Yuto Ichika is a bootleg. I'm not a bootleg! To us, however, it's not just by appearance. Her being a bootleg is how she works in lame dimension games. The thing about Yuto Ichika is that she's a rookie magician, and she learns spells by copying other people's skills. That's right, her spell book is not just a book, it's her personal notebook that she writes on, so she can easily remember the spell she needs during battle. After all, Yuto is still a young student in magic. If you've been around during the Yuto Ichika speedrun marathon, we revealed in the end that Yuto travels through universes in search of her missing mother. This will also explain why Yuto is all over the place in other games. But, would that mean that her moveset for rivals consists of what she learned so far in all the games? Yes! The first thing you'll probably notice when you play Yuto is that she's not really a quick character. Her aerials have noticeable lag, some of her moves take up time to start up, and she moves slower than most of the Workshop legal roster. But hey, she's a rookie magician. She can't handle most of her spells that well yet. This is where you gotta step it up and find ways to catch your opponent. Am I seriously telling you her weaknesses when I'm supposed to advertise to you why this character is so cool? Of course! This is for you guys too who need to know how to beat up Yuto. Her main tool is Neutral B, which summons her rock from One Time Wonder. At any point in the match, you can press Neutral B again to make the rock shoot in the direction you're facing. Right off the bat, you'll probably think, ah. This must be why I can use to catch them with my smash attack. However, there's a lot more to use for this rock. You can hit the rock to launch it, and if you want even more power, you can ride it and crash the rock towards your opponent. Trying to recover but your opponent is patiently waiting on the ledge, you can hold the B button during the rock shot to make it shoot in the opposite direction you're looking at. Now make that comeback while they're getting shot. Be careful though, because your opponents too can use this powerful rock to their advantage. Speaking of the topic of recovery, Let's talk about Yuto's Uppie, which is her cycle control from Super Legend, accompanied by the stock explosion effect we use in every game. As you can see, her Uppie has good power as an attack move, but it can't really take you that far as a recovery option. So how do we make sure we don't keep dying? Time to talk about how important Yuto's rock is again! You can summon a rock anytime you're trying to recover, and just jump right into it. You can even hold up or down to change directions while launching to mix up your recovery, but don't get too greedy with it, because they can parry it and leave you open. They can even cancel your rock and leave you hopeless. Another thing you need to keep in mind with usage is her flame ring, which is the her side beam. It's a powerful move, but the startup frames could take a bit, so you'll be left open in close combat. However, when you get used to spacing with Yuto, this move can be a beast. It's very easy to follow up with this move. You can connect it with your rock, your aerials, and if you react really fast, you can even use your smash attack for a kill confirm. Did Yuto's forward air just spike the opponent? Yes! 
if you position yourself well and time it right so that your opponent gets hit by the bottom ice spike, it does a soft spike downwards. This move is also more powerful at the tip of the ice spike, so space yourself well to get that powerful hitbox. I'm also telling you to space yourself well because this move has some end lag due to its good range. The same goes for Yuto's up air. Good range has strong tipper, but you can get punished for its end lag. Is spacing really important for Yuto? Yes it is! And you can use her down B to control spacing even more. You can use this portal to make your opponents whiff their smash attacks for a punish, send them away to summon a free rock with less risk, or just finding a way to land a hit. You can't use this to gimp your opponents though, because it gets them out of their free fall state. Don't get too greedy that you use Yuto's forward smash while this portal is up, because it doesn't last that long and you'll definitely get punished for it. Her forward smash though is her strongest smash attack and covers a lot of area, but it takes very long for it to happen. It's even slower than Krag's forward smash, which is already slow enough, but it has enough reach to destroy your opponents above the platform. So use this wisely, because if it lands, the reward is worth it. But if you want a safer option, with still enough kill power, just use up smash. This will be the main smash attack you'll be using, because it's strong and won't leave you open for that long. However, if you want to get in a quick strong hit while being safe, use down smash. It doesn't kill until really high percents, but it's quite safe to use and hits both sides, so use this during unsure situations. If you want to reach your opponents from afar, you can use Yuto's back air to shoot a laser. You can even do short hop lasers with this, but it can't kill, so just use it as a spacing option. Speaking of spacing yourself, you could even use down air to give you a tiny boost. You can use it to disorient your opponent with the timing on when you'll land. Or you could just use it to spike your opponent too. Oh, and you also have a taunt. Taunting will summon her thug friend from Super Ledge Hop, Chizuru. After you summon her, you have three options. You can go on with the fight while she eats her cheesesteak, you can beat her up, or you can taunt again to eat with her. It's gonna leave you open for attacks though, so don't get too cocky. To sum Yuto up, it's like playing as a weak newbie magician. Has some difficulties with using her spells, but there's a lot of things you could do with her spells when you land them right. It's about learning how to use your spells, just like a student in magic. Don't worry, she's not that hard to play. I may have made it sound like it's difficult, but just pick up the controller and play and you'll see it won't take long for you to get a grasp of Yuto's power. So how would Yuto look like when she's used properly? Well, let me show you right here, right now, how the experts handle it. Actually, I kinda lied, I'm not an expert with Yuto, I kinda play rushdown characters like Liz, but I think I have a pretty good idea on how to play her. And I'll show you right now, by beating up one of the lame dimension programmers that I forced to play Rivals of Aether Workshop with. And that would be Sony. Yo, what's up Sony? <laughs> how you doing? SMH, let's go! Okay. <laughs> what was that? Hold on, oh my what goodness, I didn't select my, uh, window. What? What were you doing? <laughs> I was- I don't know, you, you just woke me up. I, I heard Sony and I screamed. What, you don't know that? that that's something about me. You learn something All right. every day. Where are you gonna ban, dude? Uh, what? Dude- <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna say that we're, we're- are we gonna go with Jules Veils, like, always? And then, okay. I guess we're back to this stage. <laughs> oh no! Uh oh, dude, what's going on? I'll tell you what's going on. Did you did you level up all of a sudden? Oh, oh got you there. I'm gonna keep spamming flames <laughs> while I have the range. Oh, trying to get in, huh? Okay. Uh oh, parry just in time. Oh, nice wave dash out. Okay. Okay. Oh, I thought I was gonna hit you. Well, that Nair is like fucking wacky. Oh, it's so good. Die! Oh, you knew! You knew I was gonna use it. Oh no. It's Yuto at a ledge with a rock. Why would I not want to use it? <laughs> oh man, that was that was so not a good recovery option for me. And then, oh my gosh, that was so close. Yo, I slid it just done. enough for that. No. No. <laughs> we both do, did up me out of fear. Oh no.
Okay. Oh my god! <laughs> I was not expecting that. And I... I don't know. <laughs> nice chair. No, dude, no! Why would you homie stalk me, dude? I don't- I don't need- I- I- I, I need a homie stalk, cause otherwise I just beat you down mercilessly. No! <laughs> wow! You're saying I can't play Rivals? No, it's more, I've downloaded the Yuto. Like, what wow. everyone should be doing when she releases this summer. Like that plug chair. <laughs> no! <laughs> Oops. Okay. Gonna... Yeah. Is that a good choice now that you homie stalk me? Yeah. Oh my gosh, I keep missing that one. And I'm gonna. Oh, wait, why did you jump? <laughs> okay. What, do you think I would jump there? Barely a tip for you. Get in here. Oh my gosh, I, I shot the wrong way out of, out of fear. Okay. Jump! Ah. Oh my gosh. No? No. No. What am I doing? No! 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 <laughs> oh my gosh. Uh-oh. Okay. <laughs> okay. Oh, oh my gosh. No! Okay. Are you gonna get hit by that? No. No. No! Oh, you're dead. <laughs> Damn it. You got greedy. I did get greedy there. Okay. That, that was an intense match. But dude. Oh. Why did you homie stalk me? <laughs> because... <laughs> Look what happened. This is the so, result. So? It doesn't matter. I can defeat you even if you don't homie stalk me. Mmm. <laughs> Alright. There you have it. Hopefully, I was able to show you enough how to play Yuto Ichika. But why would we even put Yuto Ichika in the first place? Well, you see here. One of our artists helped make a character for Rivals of Aether Workshop, and it ended up being on Genesis 7 tournament stream. For those of you who don't know, Genesis is one of the largest Smash tournaments in the world. And that got me thinking. Imagine Yuto Ichika being seen by thousands of people. So I had to do it. Sorry Hazuki dies, but we're going to delay your development for a bit. I legit didn't care about Rivals of Aether until I saw the Workshop tournament for Genesis. So how would I make a legal character if I don't even play this game? Up to this point, all I cared about was beating everyone up in Eunice. So I dropped Eunice and started playing Rivals of Aether. I joined one of their online tournaments to get a feel for it, and what do you know, I got last place. This was unacceptable. If I can't play competitively, then I obviously don't understand how to make Yuto for competitive play, and she will never get into Genesis. So I did something I haven't done in so long return to my local Smash community. They don't play Workshop though, but it's good knowledge if I learned a base game, and so I did. However, this wasn't enough, and I ended up buying rivals for some people in the lame dimension community, because I am that desperate to get matches with people for Workshop. You can't just go on ranked or casual to find a random match for Workshop characters. Eventually, I conditioned part of my community to play Workshop a lot, and I constantly asked my local Smash community to coach me in vanilla rivals. And some of these sessions sometimes last until 6am, but it was worth it. I started getting decent results in my locals, and to my surprise, I was able to get top 8 in the next Workshop online tournament. And I consistently keep getting these results. And soon enough, I was able to seduce my local community to hold a Workshop tournament with Yuto Ichika for one of our larger tournaments. I want it, but that's only because our community just started getting into Workshop, and Yuto had some balancing issues, both to her advantage and disadvantage. But hey, I was able to get tons of information from footages, and due to the good turnout of the tournament, Workshop tournaments became part of our weeklies. So I'm able to constantly get feedback regarding Yuto's balancing. But I can't stop being comfortable with my results, because think about it. 
Our mission is to get Yuto Ichika on the Genesis tree. Even if we get Yuto legal soon enough for tournaments, there's no guarantee that she'll appear on stream because we don't know if there's any skilled players that will use her. So I need to keep improving. Top 8 online means nothing when we get even tougher people at Genesis. I'm still not good enough and I still need to learn from my mistakes because the higher I place at Genesis, the better chance I'll be able to show up on stream. We gotta present Yuto to the world and deliver the message we've been wanting to deliver for years now. That Yuto is not just a bootleg that can't get anywhere. And that's it. I did imply that I can't get Yuto legalized when I release her. Apparently, I got told that I have to release her first. I guess it's a requirement that I need to let people play her for a bit, and then that's when I could submit her for tournament verification. If that disappoints you that there's not a lot of purpose to play her because she can't be in tournament, don't worry. I'll keep trying non-stop to ensure that she will make it for Genesis. So please, be patient after the release, and I'll make it worth your time. When's the release though? Well, that would be in May 22. So until then, get hyped for the new trailer that will come out with the release. We'll keep doing our best to balance Yuto until then, so keep on the lookout for our Twitter over at ChairG Tables because I'll probably hold a giveaway for Yuto combo videos or a tournament or something when Yuto releases. See you guys next time, and don't forget that Yuto will be in our next Steam game too, Hazuki Dies, so look forward to that as well.